involved with the project, an overview of the project and the areas being affected with this project, go over some frequently asked questions and look at a timeline for what the project looks like. So your project team includes myself, Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager. My phone number is 817-392-8271. Again, that number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is Brenda period Oropesa at fourthwordtexas.gov. And the engineering design consultant we have on board for this project is James Dia Engineering and Brian Darby is the project manager on their end. So why are we doing this project? Fort Worth prioritizes water and sewer line replacements based on available data, which includes the water main break, break history, leak history, closed circuit TV inspection, the age of the line, the material of the line, if there are any large services on that line, or if the line is made of cast iron. So project overview. These lines specifically for this project were selected because the water lines are made of cast iron and the sewer lines are old and um, in deteriorated condition. So the project area is bound by South Hills Avenue to the north, Manderley Place to the south, Beller Circle to the west, and Carolyn Road to the east. Landmarks include the McLean Middle School, West Cliff Shopping Center, Trail Lake Montessori Preschool, West Cliff Elementary School, and West Cliff Park Apartments. Project scope. So on the map you see on the right hand side, um, the black lines show the areas being affected by the project. So existing water and sanitary sewer mains will be replaced in nine streets and four easements. So the project is in Council District 3. Construction will impact the West Cliff Neighborhood Association and West Cliff West Neighborhood Association. So now we'll kind of go through each individual um, street or area being affected. So we have Troll Lake Drive from South Hills Avenue to Manderley Place, and we will be replacing the water and sewer. Norfolk Road from Brighton Road to Caroline Road, we will be replacing the water on the street. Carolyn Road from Brady Avenue to South Hills Avenue, we will be replacing the water. Dryden Road from Brighton Road to Trail Lake Drive, we will be replacing the water. Brighton Road from Bel Air Circle to Trail Lake Drive, we will be replacing the water. The easement between Brighton Road and Somerset Lane from Bel Air Circle to East 914 feet, we will be replacing the sewer. South Hills Avenue from Bel Air Circle to Carolyn Road, we will be replacing the water. The easement between Winslow Drive and Trail Lake Drive from south 170 feet for up the Soulful Drive south 65 feet, we will be replacing the sewer. The easement north of Soulful Drive from Trail Lake Drive west 605 feet, we will be replacing the sewer. And Soulful Drive from Winslow Drive to Trail Lake Drive will be a water line replacement. Easement between Soulfolk Drive and Manderley Place from Trollic Drive West, 1260 feet, we will be replacing the sewer. Manderley Place from Winslow Drive to Trollic Drive, we will be replacing the water. Anita Avenue from Cordo Avenue to Soulfolk Drive, we will be replacing the water. So now I'll be going through some frequently asked questions to construction, which we will be having a public meeting later on for the construction of the project. But these are just some frequently asked questions we want to touch base on. So will our water be turned off? The water will be turned off for about 15 to 30 minutes when the services are being transferred from the existing line to the temporary water line. And again, when the water line is being transferred from the temporary water line to the new line. And these switchovers are done during the day. The contractor will knock on your door and let you know when they're going to be turning the water off. And the transfer typically takes about 30 minutes per household. How does the temporary line impact my home and water bill? 
So the temporary water line ensures that you are not without water during the construction of the contract. In the summer months, the continuous flow keeps the water from becoming stagnant in the above ground line. During the winter months, water must be continuously flowing through the temporary line to keep the water from freezing and customers should make sure they keep their faucets dripping. The bill for your water usage will while you are on the temporary line is based on the average of the previous month's usage. So will you need access to our properties? Construction will be in the streets and easements. Um, we are going through acquiring some easements as we speak. Um, if we need an easement from you, a land agent should be reaching out to you. Um, if the Fort Worth water needs access to your property, we will be contacting you directly. If an easement is needed, um, the city land agent will be contacting you and that should be Austin Lopes. Will our sewer service be disrupted? The sanitary sewer service will not be interrupted. New sewer cleanouts will be installed at the property line or easement line if your sewer line is located in the back of your house. The sewer cleanouts provide our field operation crews easy access if for some reason you have a backup or blockage and that just kind of lets the field operations crews go in there and determine if the blockage is on the private or public side. The sewer line from the clean out to the house is the owner's responsibility to maintain. Will I have access to my driveway? An inspector will be assigned to the project when we are ready to start construction. The inspector and contractor will work with the residents who need driveway access during active construction hours. Will the city's trash truck be able to pick up my trash and recycling during construction? If your side of the street is closed on your scheduled trash collection day, the contractor will take your crap your trash and recycling carts to the opposite side of the street so the trash collection vehicle can pick them up. Will there be lane closures during construction? Yes, signs will be posted to alert um, motorists. We don't have a traffic control plan yet as this is a design meeting. Once we have our construction public meeting, we'll have more information on the traffic control. What are the construction hours? The hours of construction are 7 a.m. to 6 p.m., Monday to Friday, and if requested by the contractor, we also allow them to work 9 a.m. to 4 or 5 p.m. on Saturdays. Timeline. So this project is still in the design phase. We are working on um, getting easements for some of the sewer lines in the project. We expect to finalize this, the design, advertise for bid, and select a contractor um, before spring of 2024. And we will be hosting a community construction meeting once we do have a contractor on board and we can provide more information. So where can you get more information as the project moves forward? Um, you can go to www.fourthwardtexas.gov and type in the project number, which is 103-421 Again, that number is 103-421 in the search bar on the homepage. Um, the headline Westcliff and Westcliff West Area Water and Sewer Improvements should pop up and that'll take you directly to the project page. To get project page updates, you can scroll down to the bottom of that project page and click on subscribe to this page. The link to the project summary frequently asked questions will be linked to the project page as well as a video of this presentation. How do I report an emergency or non-emergency? Um, for non-emergencies, you can call our water call center from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday to Friday. That number is 817-392-4477. Again, that number is 817-392-4477, and they are closed on city holidays. Um, but if you do have an emergency, our emergency number is the same number. It's 817-392-4477, but you select option one. 
and the emergency number is for water main breaks, sewer backups, and they are open 24 hours a day. You can also download the MyFW app, the My Fourth Ward app from the App Store or Google Play. On the app, you can report sewer overflows, leaks, water main breaks, missing or broken meter lids, theft of water service, water violations, lack of water service, water pressure issues, or any other sewer concerns or water concerns you may have. Here is my contact information again. My name is Brenda Oropesa. I am the project manager for this project. I can be reached at 817-392-8271. Again, that number is 817-392-8271. And my email address is brenda.oropesa at fortworthtexas.gov. And our engineering design consultant is the engineering with Brian Darby on board as the project manager. All right, thank you. I'll hand it over to Sally so she can um, go through the questions that may have been asked on the chat. Okay, we don't have anything in the chat now. If you all would rather put your questions in there, you can. Uh, everyone is muted, so I'm going to unmute all. So if you have a question, go ahead and ask. On just a second. There's a lot of you on there tonight. Oh, and also welcome to Katie Wary. She is your district director for Council District 3. Scott, did you have a question? I, I do. I, I, did, I dialed in just a little bit late. So I uh, understand you're in the design phase now. So What's your anticipated uh, let date and then start date for the actual project and how long do you anticipate it'll take? So right now our main um, delay will be those easements that we're working on acquiring. Um, I know Austin Lopez has been in contact with some homeowners to um, talk to them about acquiring those easements. So I think that will be the main delay to the project. Um, right now, we're anticipating to start construction in um, spring of 2024, but it will really depend on those easements. Sure. Once you do secure them and you get going on the construction, what's your anticipated completion? How long do you think it'll take to get the job done? I think we're anticipating about a year, Brian. Can you speak on that? Brian's on the call as well. I was trying to double check our last estimate, but I believe a year is a, a safe estimate from start to finish of all the streets, water and sewer. Okay. Thank you. Let me scroll back to the map so everyone can kind of see the areas we will be working on. And we do have 60% plans. If um, you're being affected by this area, you can reach out to me and I can kind of tell you what we're um, proposing on your property. I, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, by the Westcliff Elementary, there's a street there that has been closed off for quite some time. And you said the project may take a year, but for each segment, uh, do you have any idea how much? Uh, how long you're talking about? So for each, um, usually the first street, it takes about two weeks to install the water or sewer lines. And then um, they usually put down temporary pavement and we will be doing full width pulverization and overlay of that street. Um, but for the water and sewer, it should be about two weeks. Okay. And then it, you said there's temporary pavement and then you come back and put permanent or? Yes, they'll do the full width of the street. They'll pulverize um, 
and overlay the street so it'll be new asphalt pavement on there. Does that include curbs or it just depends on what they have to do? Um, it really depends, but on this project, it'll most likely just be um, damaged and based okay. on the condition of the current urban gutter. Okay, thank you. No problem. Don't have any questions in chat. Can uh, can everybody ask a question? Are you unmuted? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me run down the list just a second. Uh, Bob Stewart, do you have any questions? Okay. Carol, any questions? Hi. Uh, yeah. Uh, what about mitigation? to damage to trees and you know any other kind of flora that might be in their way? How do they handle that? So I do submit my um, percentage. Every time we have a submittal from Brian, we do submit also to um, Craig Fox, who's our forester. Um, okay. He's aware of the areas being impacted. If there, for some reason, needs to be a tree removed or anything, we do go through um, Craig Fox for him to make that determination. And uh, Mr. Fox, last name is F A L K S. No, um, F O X. Oh, Fox. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> Sorry. And he's a Where? forester. Yes, he's the city forester. He's the city forester. And do you have his contact information along, you know, with you've given us the other, the um, other can you share it or is it available through the city website? I can you share it on the chat, Sally, or I might have to exit out of the PowerPoint. If I, I, I just it. looked it up. I'll put it on chat too. It's 817 392 Thank you all so much. You're welcome. Okay, next. Okay, go ahead. Um, I know you mentioned Bob Stewart was on the line. I know he was reaching out to me earlier about if we were going to be doing any drainage improvements. I'll respond to his email, but I was reaching out to um, our storm drain department, but they don't have any um, drainage improvements planned for that area or South Hills Avenue and Trail Lake intersection. Just a second. Okay, the city foresters um, phone number is in chat. All right. So, oh, let me see. We've got Jennifer and we've got Lauren Baxter. Hey, and Sally, it's Michael Crane. I just signed on. Oh, hey there. You were the beat then. Yes. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Um, Michael That's Crane is your um, District 3 Council member, if you have not met him yet. And I already welcome Katie. Oh, good. I'm glad she was able to get on. I didn't have the passcode, but go ahead and keep going. I don't want to interrupt your presentation. Okay, that's okay. Um, Thank you. Where are we? We're at um, Jennifer or Lauren Baxter. Okay. Um, I may I may mess this up. Is it Rion McGuire? Yeah, it's it's Ryan. Ryan, okay. I think I think he answered my question. I was just asking if you were just going to patch where you were placing the water line, or was it a complete re-overlay of the street? Yes, it'll be a complete re-overlay of the street. But no drive approaches, all that will just remain the same. Um, for the most part, if there's a meter on your driveway, we will be relocating those meters out of the driveway, so we will be um, redoing those drive approaches. Okay, and so uh, it's an asphalt street now, so you just replace it with asphalt, not concrete. Yes, that is correct. Okay, that was it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, uh, Sally McCoy. I already uh, asked my oh, question. You did. I should remember that. My name's Sally too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Let me run back up the list. Um, I've got someone by the name of X. And your hand is in the air. It looks like you might have a question. Okay. Um, Andre R. Okay. 
Now we have several call-in users, so if you are a call-in user and you can't see the screen, go ahead and uh, ask your question. All right. Um, does anybody else, can, can you all see the chat with the uh, contact information? Yes. Okay. Does anyone else need any information to copy down from that chat? We've got the Forester, we've got Brenda, and we've got the link to the project page. Did we miss anything? Brenda, did you say when we might be coming back for a construction meeting, ballpark? Um, that's really dependent on the easements, but um, it'll probably be February next year that we can have our construction meeting. And Carol, you're very welcome. Thank you. All right. Uh, oops. Okay, Terry. I appreciate the early information. You're welcome. Okay, Charles Nixon, do you have any questions? You came in late, so if there's something you want to go back to, let us know. Okay. Bob Stewart, your hand is still in the air. And X, you have no questions? All right, if you can give us, this is what, Monday, probably by Wednesday, we will have the, um, what we do is we make a YouTube uh, link to the WebEx and that goes on the project page. And again, we have the summary, written summary FAQs, if you'd just rather read it, are in English and Spanish. And the map is already on the page. And also, there's a new thing you can do. You can subscribe to that page. So we usually do monthly updates. And if you sign up, you, what you do is you scroll down to the bottom of that project page and you click on the subscribe to this page and put in your email. So anytime that I go in there and I do an update to the page, you get an alert that the page was uploaded, uh, updated. Now, it won't tell you what was updated, so you might have to you know, look around. A lot of times, um, it'll have, actually the new project meeting that we have, the construction one will be listed on that page under the project meeting tab. But you will also get a mailer. If you got a mailer this time, you'll get a mailer next time. All right, Brenda, did we miss anything? Oh, I'm sorry, Heidi Swartz, did you have any questions? You're a new one. No? Okay. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, Heidi said no questions. All right, thank you everybody for coming out on this rainy night. We really appreciate it. Thank y'all, appreciate it. Thank y'all. If y'all have any questions, my contact's on there. And if you have any specific questions about your property, feel free to reach out to me. Sure.